Well, hello there. New Milan Design here with another video from the series called Before and After, where I'll be showing you render settings for my projects. Today we'll be working with this uh, Scandinavian minimalistic house and we are trying to recreate the render settings from uh, my previous video on this house, to which a link you can find in the top right corner. So let's quickly create our base render. And straight away a copy of the same shot so we can start applying our effects. So what we're gonna need today uh, sun, shadows, reflections, skylight and hyperlight. From camera we'll need exposure, two-point perspective, depth of field and chromatic aberrations, sky and clouds and fog and from colors, color correction and sharpening tool. A quick double check on our effects if we have all we need for today. Right. So as usual, I'll start with the chromatic aberrations, which you can see in the, in the corner of the picture. So let's bring down the dispersion somewhere over there, just barely visible in the corners. And we're done in here. Moving on to, uh, to the sun. Today we're looking for overcast shot with the fog coming uh, from the background which means we will not need the sun brightness. We want to bring it all the way down. Just simply get rid of it. And that's it with the sun. I'll come back to shadows and reflections later on. So let's move on to, uh, to skylight. And I'm going to bring the, the brightness up somewhere around there and the saturation down a little bit. Turning on the planar and projected reflections, as well as uh, choosing the high quality for render. And we're done with the skylight, and I'm going to bring up the hyperlight as well to give it a nice uh, detail on the inside of the house. As I mentioned in my previous videos, the skylight and the hyperlight effects you will not be able to see in your uh, viewer. The, the results you can only see in your final renders. So we'll skip exposure for now, come back to it later on. Let's adjust the two-point perspective by turning it on. As you can see, now our vertical lines are perfectly straight. So nice and easy. Next stop, depth of field. Today I would like my house, uh, the main portion of the house to be, to be sharp and the foreground of my shot to be a little blurry. So let's move the slider to the foreground uh, portion and bring up the amount of the blur and as you can see straight away the foreground is slightly uh, blurry and the main portion of the house as well as the back of the house is uh, nice and sharp. So let's just check our distance. I'll select somewhere in the middle of the house, confirm, turning on the autofocus and you can see the distance was almost the same. So we are okay in here. Next stop, chromatic aberrations we're already done, sky and clouds. I mentioned before, overcast uh, shot with some fogs, uh, fog uh, coming in from behind the house so we'll need a lot of uh, clouds in the sky first thing i always do bring down the brightness so i have a little more contrast and i see better what i'm doing with the clouds so let's bring them up just gonna leave a little opening over there and we already have the high clouds and there are hidden behind the low clouds anyway. 
So let's bring up the sky brightness back again. Let's see somewhere. We still have a little bit of contrast over there. Okay. Moving on to, uh, to the fog. So let's bring the fog in. I want, I want it to be somewhere around the edges of my house, uh, like so. Bring up the fall off somewhere around there. So we get still uh, a little bit of sky visible in here and perhaps a little bit of the brightness of the fog. Looks okay to me in there. So we're done in here. Uh, color correction. Let's turn on or bring up the temperature a little. Somewhere around there. You can see uh, you get the warm feel uh, to, uh, to the wood on your porch and on the interior as well. And I'm going to bring down the contrast as well as the saturation just a little bit. On a cloudy day like this, the light is very diffuse, very dispersed, so uh, you don't get much of, a, much of a contrast. And also you lose a little bit of a, of a saturation as well. So let's just bring up the, the brightness a tiny bit, somewhere around there, okay looks good to me and moving on to uh, sharpening just bring down the intensity somewhere around here is enough and moving back to uh, our shadows now I'm going to bring down the, the coloring a little bit so it will have a little bluish tint to it and the brightness as well we want a little contrast in between the uh, the interior and the exterior, but not too much. So we have exterior shot. So let's bring it up. As you can see, a little bit of the contrast we got in there. I think the Omni Shadow is pretty, pretty okay in here. As you can see it in the, in the corners of the of the house. Uh, let's turn on the soft and fine detail shadows. And I think we are pretty much done in uh, in here. So let's see what we got left. Exposure, I think we lost a little bit of, uh, of light in here. It's a little underexposed, so let's bring up the exposure. Somewhere around there. And the last thing, I'm going to select our reflective uh, surfaces. We got quite a lot of glass in here today, so let's just start selecting it. Glass pane in here. We got some glass in here. Not forgetting the uh, the pool area. There is a little glass table in here, and we'll put a reflection surface also on the porch. There we go. Let's not forget to uh, switch on the speed ray reflections as you can see straight away. Okay. Quickly double check if we need to adjust anything, perhaps a little bit uh, in the sky. brightness just bring it down a bit like so we can bring back up the exposure somewhere over there okay well it looks fine to me so uh, Let's have a look what we're going to get today. So thanks for watching, stay well and stay creative.